Bunk Bed Replacement Rails Disassembly and Reassembly Instructions This video will guide you in the replacement of your lead bed rails. This video will instruct you on the disassembly and reassembly of your Lee bunk bed. The process is similar for all types of beds. Safety is a top priority at Lee Furniture, and our new replacement rails have been designed and tested to exceed all government and consumer product safety commission standards. Read these instructions carefully before attempting to disassemble this bed. Retain all hardware and parts removed during disassembly for reassembly with replacement side rails. Retain original side rails and all packaging for return shipment. Give yourself plenty of room to work. We recommend removing and replacing side rails one rail at a time. The disassembly will require at least two people to complete. Above all, take your time and read instructions carefully. Tools required, a four millimeter hex wrench, which is included, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a standard head screwdriver. Before beginning the disassembly of your bunk bed, remove all pillows, bedding, and mattresses. Bed disassembly. Step one, removing the ladder and guardrails. Hardware used in this step, one one inch wood screw, two three quarter inch wood screws, and three two inch connecting bolts. Remove wood screws from each ladder hook. Remove ladder and set aside. Remove the wood screw through the back side of the short guardrail and set aside. Loosen and remove the connecting bolts connecting the guardrails to the bed ends. Remove both guardrails and set aside. Step two. Removing slat packs. Hardware used in this step, one inch wood screws. Disassemble slat packs from both beds by unscrewing all wood screws attaching slats to the support cleat. Do not discard the screws. Quantity may vary from 16 to 32 screws depending on bed model. Check the parts removed in disassembly against the hardware list at the bottom of each page to ensure all parts are present. If any parts are missing or if you have any questions regarding disassembly or assembly of your Lee bed, please contact the Lee Customer Service Department at 888-299-5619 Bed Reassembly Power tools are not recommended for assembling your furniture. Give yourself plenty of room to work. Due to the size of this bed, it must be assembled in a space it will occupy. The assembly will require at least two people to complete. Make sure all fasteners are tight after reassembly. Above all, take your time and read your instructions carefully. Tools required for reassembly, Phillips head screwdriver, standard head screwdriver, and included four millimeter hex wrench. Step three, replacing side rails. Hardware used for side rail replacement, four inch connecting bolts and barrel nuts. Remove one side rail from the bed ends as shown using the hex wrench to loosen and remove the connecting bolts. 
set side rail aside for return shipment. Remove the barrel nuts from the holes in the side rail as shown. Retain barrel nuts for reuse. Insert the barrel nuts into the holes in the replacement side rail. Once inserted, use a standard screwdriver to align the barrel nut with the hole as shown. Attach the side rail to the bed ends as shown using the 4 inch connecting bolts. Use hex wrench to tighten the 4 inch connecting bolts. Do not over tighten. Note. The barrel nuts may have to be turned slightly to start the bolts threading. Repeat step 3 for all side rails. Tighten all bolts securely after replacing all side rails. Step 4. Old side rail return shipping. Pack original side rails in the replacement side rail carton and see return shipping instructions located inside the carton. Please note, Lee bunk beds will contain four rails. Step five, replacing slat packs. Hardware used in this step, one inch wood screws. Install the slat packs with slats starting and ending flush with the end of the support cleat attached to the side rails with countersink holes facing up. First install wood screws into each end of the slats closest to the headboard and footboard. Arrange the remaining slats so they are evenly spaced along the support cleat. Insert the wood screws into both ends of the remaining slats, permanently attaching them to the support cleats. Note, extra wood screws are provided in case originals are misplaced. Step 6. Replacing Guardrails Hardware used in this step, 1 1 inch wood screw and 3 2 inch connecting bolts. Place the long guardrail onto the side rail as shown. Use a hex wrench to tighten the connecting bolts to each end of the long guard rail into the bed ends. Place short guard rail onto the side rail. Note, you should decide the position of the ladder prior to attaching short guard rail. Secure the short guard rail to one bed end using a connecting bolt. Screw the one inch wood screw through the pre-drilled holes located on the back side of the short guard rail. Note, if the bunk bed is placed next to a wall, the long guard rail should be placed against the wall. Step seven, replacing the ladder. Hardware used in this step, two three quarter inch wood screws. Position the ladder in place by hooking it over the top edge of the side rail in the location shown. Secure the ladder in place by screwing a three quarter inch wood screw through each ladder hook. Be sure to note the bedding specifications in the back of the instruction booklet which describe the size of the mattress and mattress foundations that can be used in your bunk bed. In order to avoid the possibility of falling or entrapment, these specifications must be strictly followed. Thank you for participating in the Lee Bed Rail Replacement. If you have any questions regarding the disassembly or assembly of your Lee Bed, please contact our U.S.-based customer service department at 888-299-5619.